earlier today on January 26th at 10.49 Japanese Standard Time, the H2A F46 was launched from Yoshinobu Launch Complex Launchpad 1, carrying the IGS Radar 7 satellite. This marks the first launch from Tanegashima since December 2021, and the first successful launch from Japanese soil since then as well. This previous launch carried the Inmarsat 6 F1 satellite. Today's launch was of the Information Gathering Satellite Radar 7, or IGS R7 for short, which is a spy satellite from the Japanese government carrying a synthetic aperture radar. Not much is known about the orbit or the satellite specs as it is all classified information. The IGS satellites come in pairs of optical and radar satellites. The IGS Optical 7 satellite was launched three years ago on the 9th of February 2020. Not much else can be said about these satellites, though there are rumours that they're upgraded copies of the civilian ALAR satellites and that they may be used for missile warning systems, though I do not have any primary sources for that. According to the Japanese government, the H2A will be launched four more times before its retirement, with two more launches in 2023, the launch of IGS Optical 8 and the launch of the Lunar Lander SLIM and the X-ray telescope CRISM. Next year, the H2A will be used for the launch of the IGS Radar 8 satellite and the launch of the Global Observing Satellite for Greenhouse Gases and Water Cycle, or GOSAT-GW, after which it will be retired after 23 years of service. The next launch from Tanegashima will be on the 12th of February, which will see the debut of the next member of the H family of rockets, the H3, which will carry the ALOS-3 Earth Observation Satellite into orbit from Yoshinobu Launch Complex Launchpad 2. I can't wait for this historic launch, and I hope to see you then. I'll see you next time.